All right, guys, so over the past few months, I've been kind of going through little mini phases of what watches I'm looking at and purchasing, mostly in the affordable sector. And a perfect example of that that you guys would have seen on the channel is Timex. I had a number of different Timex, the Q Timex reissues, I had two of those another collab model and it ended up getting me looking at their back catalog i picked up a couple of vintage pieces one i showed on the channel the black max and i'm sort of over the timex thing although there's still a few models that i might feature at some point on the channel but i've shifted over to g-shock i've gone through a couple of phases of g-shock and there's a certain model that's gotten a lot of hype over the last few months. This is a new variation of that model. You're going to probably already know from the thumbnail. I have another G-Shock here as well. I'm waiting to show you guys that one. I have something a little bit different planned for that video. But for today, it's going to be just a quick unboxing. So let's get into the watch. All right, so you guys are already going to know the watch we're looking at today is from the very popular GA2100 thin line. They've just released some new colorways. And I decided to get one. I was going to go for the red, which is pretty hard to track down right now, I think. Ordered this directly from G-Shock. way and let's get into it oops lost a little bit of paperwork there module 5611 and this is it so they've come out with kind of a more utilitarian styling there's i believe a camo one there's this green one i think there's one other colorway too the reason I opted for this particular watch, and I think the reason they're so popular is the, first of all, the thinness of it. I believe, I read somewhere that this is the thinnest analog and lightest analog G-Shock that there is. I feel like it's going to wear a lot like my square, so let's get in for a little bit of a closer look here. Just a quick side-by-side -side with the 5610, and one thing right away it looks to be is the square is a little bit smaller in terms of case width. Thickness looks to be very similar. One difference that I'm seeing right straight away is there's obviously lots of differences, but a big uh, kind of a key difference between these two watches and a common complaint with the 5610 is the button size. Buttons are much larger on this watch. And right away they feel totally different. Easier to find and push. The display, the digital display that is, is quite small. So the legibility I don't expect to be the greatest. Especially out in natural light. But overall I love the look. I love the kind of militaristic colorway. Let me give you guys a quick look on wrist. And there it is, and I certainly understand why this watch has gotten to be so popular in such a short amount of time. I'm sure there's going to be lots of new colorways of this watch because it's just a great design. I love the look. I love how it wears, and if you're an owner of a square, it wears very similarly in terms of the thinness, the weight. It's just a great to overall design. I'm not going to get into a lot of detail here today. We'll talk about more details on the watch, the functions, all of that in a future video. So just a quick first look. Really appreciate you guys stopping by today, and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.